Alrighty, I'm back. Local pen juice. So, find the map and talk to Daniel. Okay, so. Hmm, I think I remember seeing something similar to a map somewhere around here. Well, not really in this specific area. Damn, I can't. If I remember, it should be in this room. <clears throat> Nothing here. Of course. Oh, well. Daniel, what did you do with the map? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh, this map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. Of course it. Of course he put it in his tent. You would put it in your tent. Search. Daniel's lair. Aw. Mushroom's so adorable. Wait. Okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. Hey, man. Can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom, come here, girl. What a great team. Okay. There you are. Time to play dad, dog. Okay, so we take the map and we talk to Daniel. Sean, there's someone at the door. What the? When did he show mother? Daniel? <laughs> Got you. <laughs> I mean, okay, good job. Let's not freak out on him. Yeah, okay. Good job. <laughs> you almost shit your pants. Of course I did, man. Anyway. Okay. So. Place map. These are some good raviolis. Okay. I think. It's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No. I, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. <sighs> Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents, our grandparents live. Okay, so what? So we can go there and they'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? Probably. What if they don't like me? They're family, right? Plus, they owe us for what Karen, for what Mom did. Um, you sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool, and I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well, okay. But Mushroom has to agree, too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. Yep. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a game of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, loser. Party time. Okay, ready to lose, Captain. Watch your butt, matey.
throw. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Nothing? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Doesn't smell good for you. Stop playing. Why would I stop playing? Okay. Give me a six. I don't get it. This is my last chance. Don't fail me. Yes. Full ship and cargo. What are you gonna do? You just lucked out. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain. Ahoy. I have a crew now. Here comes the loot. That's a loot. <laughs> High score. <sighs> Better than nothing. How are you gonna beat that? Good luck beating that, matey. Don't worry about that. Your turn, lover. What? Come on. Sit, please. Sit. Oh. Come on. Give me something. Anything. Phew. It was a close one. <laughs> ah, pretty good. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Ah. Come on, my turn. We're still playing dice? Okay. Cool. Give me the same. Come on. I need a ship. <laughs> Too bad. Still incomplete. Sounds what the like hell? a nose store. I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these Yay. dice. No uh, full ship. Boring. No score. The dice are you yours. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? You mean, we be dead. Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. Definitely. He was a great pirate. Here Just you like us. go, Captain. Come on, give me something. Anything. Phew, it was a close one. What the hell? Do you think Grandma and Grandpa will have a console? Uh, I don't think so, dude. Sorry. No biggie. I like playing dice and stuff, too. <laughs> Whoa. Daniel the big nerd. Getting sick of screens. No way. It's nice for a change. But... <sighs> okay. I've had enough. I give up. What? For real? Yep, you heard me. Yeah, okay. You want it. Here's my bag. Mmm, let's see. The hell? Here, what do you think? <laughs> A bear. <laughs> Is that mushroom? Yes! I know I'm not as good as you, but... Nah, it's, it's it's really cool. cool, dude. It is. Thanks. It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. Gross. You're right. Don't smoke. But... It's our last night, so we can do anything. <sighs> all right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude. Yep. 
Try not to make it longer than 30 minutes. Smoking is bad. into grass raisins. Hopefully I can do this and get this done by 3 o'clock. I always love the Life is Strange series. Um, if you're wondering why I haven't played Life is Strange True Colors, it's because of the fact that I want to um, play the other two Life is Strange games before I play that one. So, yeah. Um, that's the reason why I haven't played Life is Strange True Colors yet. Life is Strange 2. Episode 2. Rules. Oh, damn. Homie is Daniel is not there. Drinking some tea. Hey, Daniel, how are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Help Daniel pack. Wait, he can help Marshall himself. Marshall wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. So... What's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Hey, look. Hey, you little... You better watch your goddamn mouth. I mean, it's obvious where he gets it from. He gets it from Sean, obviously. Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like, you're always polite. <sighs> Come on. Chill out. Bro. What did you pack in? What the f- Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. Bro, I still remember those days where, um, 
Oh, get awesome. my... Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Man, I remember those days where, um, where I would get my mouth washed out with soap every time I cuss. Okay. Fill up the, the canteens for the road. Okay, good. So, what the hell are the canteens? Oh, those water bottles or whatever the fuck what the hell they're called. If I could find them, where the hell are they? Shit. Um. Oh, there they are. I'm not even gonna ask. I'm not even going to ask how long that water's been there. Okay, so, um, so this is the part where we should find Daniel. Pack the canteen. Oh, we have to do that first. I love these objectives. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? That's weird. Search for Daniel. Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Oh, shit. I don't like the way this is going. <sighs> where is he? Those, are those, wait. We have to follow the tracks. Wait, are those snowmobile tracks? They look, they kind of look like it. They look like somebody picked them up. Daniel, where are you? Blood. Oh, shit. What the fuck happened here? Oh, hell no. Don't tell me that's Mushroom's blood. Is that Mushroom? No, that can't be Mushroom's blood. Bandana. That's not good. They wouldn't kill a dog, bro. Oh, fuck. Daniel? Oh, shit, it's a cougar. Oh, no! Daniel. Oh, fuck. Do not move. Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! This icon, I don't intervene. Step forward, bitch. We're gonna save the damn cougar. The fuck? No. Go away! Get your ass back! Go! Back your ass up! No! No! <sighs> Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I thought somebody killed her. I thought somebody... Oh, fuck. She got killed by a cougar, man. Damn. I, I feel bad for her now. Fuck. Daniel. I'm so sorry. Just... 
wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. Hell no. We're gonna... <laughs> I'm right here. Damn. That killed Mushroom. Right. That killed Mushroom. They didn't have to do that, bro. I'm just glad. <gasps> Damn, man. Why do they have to kill Mushroom, bro? Like, shit. I thought somebody stepped on her and just killed her but yeah here you should do it somebody that's it it's pointless can't even bury her. Well, unless you want to say something. Uh, Fuck, goodbye, dude. Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. Damn. I'll always remember running through the snow with you and how you you snuggled and. I'll never forget you. Never. Yeah, before we do, before we comment anything, ladies and gentlemen, let's all have a moment of silence for Mushroom. Be for God. I thought he was gonna make a joke about. I thought he was gonna make a joke about mushroom. May you rest in pieces. I mean, that's that's kind of a fucked up joke, but damn. Sean, you think she's up in heaven? Oh hell yeah. With dad. I mean, I guess. Yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. Wait. What about his allergies? <sighs> Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. I mean, I don't know. I'm not an expert about religion. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Shit, man. Okay. Damn. The dad di Their dad dying. Their dad being killed by a police officer. Mushroom being killed by a cougar. What's what what is what's gonna happen next? Keep out wolves inside. I really hope they don't have to go through some shit that involves some them killing another person. Wish we didn't have to go. I like having the house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. Yeah, well, shit happens. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? <laughs> They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long. That's a creepy snow, man. That shit is creepy as hell. Fuck, man. It wouldn't have made a difference if we killed the cougar anyway. It's not gonna bring mushroom back.
I knew it was mushrooms blood, but I didn't think it was um I didn't think mushroom would be attacked by a cougar. But damn. Shit. That's a reminder that you shouldn't let your pet you should not let your pets roam the woods. I hope this song's not copyrighted. If I get a copyright claim, it's all good. Hopefully I don't get a copyright claim while I'm playing this, but if I do, it's whatever. I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. Oh, look at the deer. Oh, never mind. Beaver Creek welcomes you. Damn, man. So I'm just curious, how long have they been exploring? I thought it was over. Damn. <clears throat> we made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Yep. Merry Christmas, bitches. I'm just kidding. Just Merry Christmas. Oh, Come here. Oh. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. Doorbell. Bed. Ring the doorbell. Um, this could end horribly. This could go horribly wrong. What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. 
Three times the charm. Yes, we hear you. Oh. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Oh. Uh. Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that Daniel? Yep. What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here. After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they found out about what happened to their dad. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? <sighs> yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Do they not know about what happened to Sean and Daniel's dad? Or do they, it, or if they did know, then they would ask what happened on the, I'm pretty sure they would ask Sean and Daniel's side of the story. I'm just saying. The granddad's like really hostile, so we probably don't really know too much about him. Besides, <laughs> they lost mushroom. Hey, is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh yeah, feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine. But you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Oh no. It's something bad. Grandparents. So, how's the kid doing? He'll be fine. Just a little head cold. Oh, Stephen. What are we going to do? I. Maybe we should call Gus. Uh, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Do we really want to involve other people? Well, maybe he can help. We have to do something. A, a, a police officer was killed, Claire, you know? Our grandchildren are wanted by the police for murder. I know. Oh, so they do know about it. So they do know about what happened that day. So are they going to ask for Sean and Daniel's side of the story? Or they're just going to disregard it and s see them as criminals? What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. Next to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened. Okay, never mind. So they're going to ask what? So they're going to ask for our side of their side of the story. We'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. Oh, Lord. Are you all right, honey? Mm-hmm. You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide. Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? Fucking bullshit. I don't know. Seriously. I don't know. I swear, I don't. Too much happened and I'm trying to figure it out, but all I know is that he shot dead. 
And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. Yeah. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? I had no choice. I freaked out to protect that. Damn, both of these, all three of these choices are fucked either way. So, uh, I mean, Daniel looked like he didn't really need protection anyway, so you had no choice. I mean, makes you even more guilty, so. It happened so fast. I saw the cop on the ground and my dad and and I freaked out. Oh, I know. You poor thing. But that just made things worse for you and your brother. <sighs> yep. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Yeah. <sighs> you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. That's a good, We're that's glad a, you two are okay. That's a plus. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So, what are your plans? Um, Mexico. Well, we already explained our plan in the last Let's Play, so. Go down to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are going to stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Oh, no. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's really nice. nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small. Basically keep a low profile. And nosy. And nosy oh yeah i believe we that. can stay serious awesome oh sean guess what there's a huge model train upstairs hey you're supposed to be resting young man <laughs> yeah yes he is but he seems better already anyway you and daniel will stay here at least until daniel's better We'll see what happens next. Bad. Say less. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. I mean, their grandparents seem like nice people. They seem like nice people. But I'll be right back. Gotta use the bathroom. All right, I'm back. Uh, how do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like 
a bedtime story, right? Mm. Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. No, heaven. So are we ready to pray? Yeah. Just gonna, follow my lead. We're going to need some prayers. <laughs> we're going to need some prayers after the shit that went down. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Yeah, we're gonna need some prayers after all the things that we went through. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Esteban. Amen. Amen. Who's Esteban? Amen. What was that? Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. No. Feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. <laughs> well, Claire seems pretty caring and nice. I guess Steven is too. Yeah. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. Nope. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? No. Maybe find some of her stuff? No. Why would you... Why would you want to do that? I just but. don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But? But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. Yep, she sure did. She made her choice. Yep. We gotta make ours. Yep. And we can't keep going back. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well... You know. Yeah? I was wondering... How do you do it? Uh... I don't know. I concentrate and... It just happens. So... It makes you feel strong? Like, special and mighty? I don't think that. I don't know how I feel. Why are you asking? Never mind. Just curious. Forget I asked anything. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub.